This video is a short video. I just wanted to talk about how important it is to print your pictures. Placed this order in a couple of weeks ago and I finally, finally came in. So, No, it's not in here. I took it out before. I'm not going to cut it like that. This is it. So it's wrapped and protected. And I don't know if you remember this from my video uh, hiking Cape Sebastian. But this is one of my favorite images of the year so far. And I wanted to show you what that looks printed. I don't have a printer. I have no way of printing myself. Uh, my space at the moment is limited. But there's a lot of companies where you can get things printed. And I think they did a fantastic job. It's about 30 inches long by 12 and something high. To me, it looks, it looks amazing. Let me talk a little bit more about this picture. For this image, I use my, my drone, my, my Mavic Pro 2. The picture is so special because of how, how it happened. If you've ever flown a drone here on the Oregon coast, uh, you know that it's not easy. The wind is 90% of the time is terrible. It's very strong winds, side winds. It's, you don't know what the weather's gonna do. Keeping the batteries charged <laughs> is almost impossible because on these drones, you can only, if you don't use your batteries after three days, they start to lose charge. They discharge to preserve the life of the battery. So I only charge them when I know I'm gonna use them, but the weather has been so strange lately that I haven't really kept full batteries. So this day I had one and a half batteries and I was gonna wait maybe an hour for sunset, just before sunset so I could get some color, some, some light on the rock. And I sent the drone out to measure, to scout out locations, to see where to compose from. And I saw the distance that the fog was coming in, very, very far away, you can see the fog bank. So I brought it back, I put the, the full battery, I went out again. This is actually uh, 12 images combined together. The drone has a 20 megapixel camera, and this image is 100 megapixels. So it ended up using uh, five images there was information on the bottom and on top that I cropped, but this is a 100 megapixel image. That means I could print that in a huge format. But the, the lighting, how this image happened is what made it special to me and now have it printed is phenomenal. It makes it real. You know, when you have pictures on your phone and you just scroll for hours and hours, or if you just put your images on Instagram or, or Facebook, they lose that tactile special they're just not that special anymore but to have it printed to hold it to feel it to have that tactile image it just makes it it makes it better it's very important to print images and once you have a print you can either sell it you could display it in your house be proud of something you created there's so many things you can do with the with the printed image that it just is so much better to just have them lost in the internet this was one of those days where everything just lined up and that's why it's one of my favorite images because there was no thinking. It would just load everything up, go out, get it done before the weather moved in and no wind, clear sky that I could see for miles and it was just beautiful. But like I said, I highly recommend printing your images, at least one of them, make them real, make them something that you're proud of. It's, it's, it's an amazing feeling having one of your pictures looking like this. This is an aluminum and they did a fantastic job. There's many companies that you could send out and have your stuff printed. As I said, this was a short video, just an update and explaining why it's so important to print an image, how to make it real, make it, bring it to life. It's very, very important. So I'm gonna leave you, I'm gonna show you one more thing here real quick, but if you like the video, please click that like button. Please subscribe. It does really, really help me out a lot. It, it helps the YouTube algorithm uh, show that people are watching my videos and show it to more people. Let me show you here one, one more thing. 
through uh, one of those companies. I had some of my pictures put in a book uh, for me. And some of these just look, look amazing. Like I said, having a coffee table book, having something to display your images, having something that you, you like, having these, having a book like this, that having your pictures printed, it, it really, really does make them special. And the other reason why it's important to print your images is this one right here. And that's it. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.